Today's adventure begins by looking at the Mickey Power Pole, I-4 westbound, going very smoothly, surprisingly, with traffic not too bad. As the recording of this, June 21st, 2021, current time, 9.40 a.m., and I have a reservation for Hollywood Studios. Changing it up a little bit today, and gonna be parking over at Art of Animation, where my sister and her family have stayed for the evening. I'm gonna take the Skyliner over to studios with them. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, bringing my trusty umbrella. Not so much for the rain, even though it is, there is forecasted some showers a little bit later. Thought about bringing my, my big brimmed cap, opted for the umbrella instead if it gets too sunny. A little overcast, so it might not be too bad. Don't really have a major game plan for today, mostly just hanging out with my sister and her family. They have reservations. They purchased a one-day ticket and got reservations for studios, so I linked up with them as well. Also got a Rise boarding pass this morning. I got up at 6.30, waited for the 7 o'clock window, and got one for, for the whole group, the whole party. So that's very exciting. Also, all the pre-shows are back. Tower, Mickey and Minnie, and maybe a, maybe a couple others, so I'll try to document those. There's a, someone in a golf cart waiting to go by here, so inviting you to join me. Shall you? <laughs> Rope Drop at Studios was 9 a.m. It's currently 9.55, so I would imagine the line has dissipated a little bit to get on the Skyliner. Shouldn't be too bad. Should be pretty easy access. Right, Ursula? And par for the course. Always lawn maintenance following me around. You can see across Hourglass Lake is where the Skyliner goes. Heading over to another station and then from that station into studios. Now they put this little washboard out here because an hour before the parks open, it gets very, very busy. It says due to high demand, you can take the bus over to Epcot or studios. But at this hour, it's not too, not too bad. Also, any transportation device, you still have to wear the facial coverings. That includes buses, the Skyliner, and what would be the other one? Not trams, because trams are not running. So buses, Skyliner, and monorail. So this would be the only place you have to mandatorily wear a facial covering. So I gotta put one on and make the way to studios. Also, they are not giving you your own gondola, so you have to share gondolas now with another party if your group is small enough. Okay, I stand corrected. Well, I sit corrected because I'm sitting, but they didn't put anybody else in the cart with us. So it's just, just us sitting in the cart and about to, about to take off right across Hourglass Lake or Lake Hourglass. And it's a good thing there's no one sitting across from me because I could lock arms with them and sway it like this, which is frowned upon. I think it, I mean you're not supposed to open the door, but it looks as if the two guests are kind of shaking hands and then making the gondola go back and forth. Now at the main station, there is a little bit larger congregation of people. Not too bad though, not too bad. The good thing is that's all for Epcot. Since we're going to studios, not much of a line over on this side. Okay, we are now just sitting here. Okay, it's moving again. They were thanking us for our patience, but now it's moving. And judging by the parking lot, still at 35% capacity. There will still be some pretty lengthy lines in there, but you can definitely tell they are not at full capacity yet. Oh yeah, of course. Hollywood Tower, definitely on the agenda. We're gonna drop into that. And like I said, the pre-show is back, almost to the entrance. Skyliner, very efficient. He just drops you off right here. Current wait time for Tower, 50 minutes. It backs up all the way over to this section. And of course, with the distancing jet now removed, I don't believe it go, the line goes over back by Fantasmic anymore. It's kind of just all stretched around in this section. Still no fast pass, however. I believe these were the little stations for the fast pass terminals. If you were to remove that, it would have the little keyboard and the LCD screen for fast pass. And also rock and roller coaster is about an hour wait as well. These are some nice ceiling fans and some shade. I also have double shade. I have my umbrella here. And then I've also got the shade of this awning. It does my heart good having you check in oh, That's good to be here, thank you. This says that there are high speed drops into the dark, mysterious realm of the twilight zone. Oh, I can hear some of the screaming up. Oh, this says keep out. You know what though, I don't think, I think we, well, we were invited in. He said, come on in, so we're good to go. There's a big leaf from a tree there blocking the view. As of right now, they still have the plexiglass up as well. 
over here in the queue. So plexiglass has not been removed in the queue as of yet. Out of the outside, out of the out of the elements, the sun and the clouds and whatnot, and into the lobby area, almost to the pre-show. The pre-show will be happening. That's exciting. Pre-shows are back. They weren't around for quite some time. The last year, there were no pre-shows. But now you go into the room where Rod Serling, or at least a gentleman performing as Rod Serling, is giving the the pre the pre-show. Right, oh, if you noticed that there was a hidden Mickey above the Rod Sterling actor's face, above the elevator, there's a hidden Mickey on the bells. Whenever you're in a boiler room, it's not a good thing. You know who also is always in boiler rooms is Freddy Krueger. I wonder if Freddy Krueger's ever gone on tower. I've really never figured out if it's quicker to go straight that way or to take the turn. More times than not, I will not get in this line, but we'll just take the one that goes that way. But I've never timed it out to see which one's quicker. They might be about the same. But this one does kind of wind around a little bit. I think it was quicker than the 50 minutes it stated though. We're almost on. It's only been about half hour. Hey Kara, wait a, wait a second. Six, six, Six? That's a bad sign. And this shows the seating chart, so we're going to be in the very back. You're saying put all the bags by your feet. Also noticing they have removed the plastic dividers in here as well. There is no separation between guests. What are the odds of you screaming on that? Oh, yeah! Oh, there seems to be something at the end of the hallway here. Ghost. Is it going to go up or down? That's the real question. It's going to go What do you think? Oh, it was great. It was really fun. They added, I think they added one last drop. Yeah, they did. I thought it was over and then shot us back up. <laughs> I love that attraction. And just to kind of show here, this is how they have, so now they have the rope set up and the queue is up down here, down Sunset. And then you wind around. You do not go back, as stated, you do not go back to Fantasmic anymore. They had during the distancing year. I have officially lost my umbrella already. Already this early in the day, I've lost the umbrella. I don't know where it ended. It could have left it on tower. It could have left it in the line. Could have set it down over somewhere. I think I left it on tower, but nonetheless, I'm gonna have to purchase another umbrella. I start making the way over to Star Tours, which is located. Well, you can get there two different directions. But this is one of the ways you can get to Star Tours. Kind of in between the commissary building and the backside of what is now the Frozen show, which used to be Superstar Television. The adventure continues, is the, the version they have right now. 25 minutes going through the Ewok Village. You can see some of the trees there of the Ewok Village. Sometimes the queue will, oh, the queue does stretch through there. And of course, a giant ad out. How often, well, how many places can you walk through a full-size ATAT, I call it an attic. Always good to see R2 and 3PO. Hello, R2D2 and 3PO. We still have the Plexi up inside Star Tours also. Oh, look, there is like the, the heat index on those walking through the queue line of Star Tours, but the Plexi is still up in here. Don't forget to pick up your flight glasses. You need a pair of these in order to see in 3D. Oh, light speed. Ooh, we are moving now. That was a good time. There were a few new scenes that I had not, not ever experienced in there before. Fast forward a few hours. It is now 6 p.m. My sister earlier had to go back to the hotel with her family, and I ended up heading home for a while. And it's now raining, and now I've decided to return for the last couple hours the park is open. Had quite a couple hours of a downpour. Nice little downpour. Skyliner's not even moving over there. Skyliner has, ooh, 
there was just lightning above tower. Dang, I miss it. I do want to go on Mickey and Minnie Runaway just to see the pre-show. I haven't seen the pre-show in over a year, but the pre-show is back just like it was on Tower. And I believe Rock and Roller Coaster has the Aerosmith pre-show, so I'll check that out too. And you'll notice that if you wait till a little bit later in the day, the line for Mickey and Minnie dissipates quite a bit. Of course, they're no longer doing the distancing, so it's all just kind of wedged under this one little area. For the moment, we're all just kind of congregated here. Well, it stopped raining, but the line is slowly starting to move now. This is around the corner, uh, and they have reshifted the queue line when you go in. It doesn't go through the front, it just goes through the side now. And once you go through the side, you continue on, and the pre-show is back with Goofy driving the train, Runaway Railroad, and, and Runaway Railway, and then obviously at the end is when all the smoke is emitted from the, see if all the smoke is emitted from the front of the screen. The screen just exploded. I haven't seen that in a long time. That was cool. And now everyone walks through the screen itself, through the movie screen. My hair's a little wet. It's been raining. Not, not every day. Well, unless you come here, it's not every day you can walk through an exploded movie screen and then back out. Look, there's a hole in the screen. That's where I was just standing, right there. That's. It's good to see the pre-shows back there. There's no markers on the ground or anything. No more markers. Everything is back to semi-normal. And it looks as if there is no more plexi on the train itself. Look, they have removed all the plexiglass from the train. Pretty interesting how quickly everything is just kind of going back to how it usually was. And now, rockin' roller coaster with a huge guitar out front. It is kind of amazing how just a couple weeks ago you couldn't stand this close to anyone and now everyone just congregated very, very closely how quickly everything just kind of kicks back to how it was. You know, not even not even a foot or two between guests whatsoever. Also about to head in and see if they have the pre-show going. They, have, the they the just made the statement will be stay or you automatically. fill in all Please the available space. All the way forward, that is something, all the space. listen to that. That's the if first time I've heard that phrase in over a year and a half. Take a big step forward, Look at that. All the available that space. is something Thank else. You, History and we has hope been you enjoy your tour at G-Force <laughs> Records. Oh so don't you make sure you stay behind the airline at all times. These doors can open automatically at any time. Make sure we stay behind the airline at all times. Thank you. Do you recall back in the day when the roadie would come out, an actual cast member, actor, would come out and grab the Les Paul when they asked to get to the Les Paul? The, the ride vehicle has stopped temporarily and will begin motion without warning. Stand clear for your safety. Without warning? That's terrifying. I thought they were going to get evac, but now getting ready to blast off. Oh, they still got the plexi up in the queue. So I haven't seen any plexi on any of the rides or attractions, but they do have plexi in all the queue lines. That group just waiting patiently for their stretch limo. They got backstage passes too to go across. I like how this, all this looks like a subway station. Check this out. It's like a parking structure. Hey, you're pulling out of a parking structure here. The theming in here. It's like LA. Oh, look at this up here. It says, have a nice day. A sticker on the side of the wall. I've never noticed all that up there before. With the scaffolding, like they're doing a little work. All roads jammed. We'll begin moving immediately. Oh, immediately. Okay, immediately. Get ready. Oh, they're doing the countdown. Here we go. Rock on. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I always wonder if people who get in line that have no idea what this is, and they're waiting here, and they see this blast off and think, I made a bad choice. They're excited. I would imagine all of this plexiglass all through the queue will be the next next to go away. Up oh, there's my stretch limo for the backstage passes. They did not seat me next to anyone though, so I'm kind of a single rider. I'm not sitting next to anyone. It's just me on here. So when they bring single rider back, you wouldn't have you'd have to share a seat. They're not dividing rows, but yeah. Oh yeah, good to get back on Rock and Roller Coaster and good that the pre-show is back. Good to see Aerosmith again. 
even though it's a few years ago when they recorded that scene. But yeah, it's good to see that it's good to see Steven Tyler going through there. Now we're gonna pull in. You're gonna see some hidden Mickey's along the side of the wall. There are some lights up there that look like hidden Mickey's. See, check it out. See all the hidden Mickey's all through there. Pretty cool. That's gonna do it for today. A very long day, even though it's separated by you know morning, and then I went home for a little bit, came back in the evening, and avoided in the evening time. Even though I lost my umbrella earlier, I did avoid the rain has head out and they just made the closing eight o'clock announcement which they just started doing recently the park's closed and i'm heading home as long as i can get to my car before these storm clouds really set in oh my goodness look at that i'll see you in the next video the vlog is whoo that looks something else up there huh the vlog is over